How's it going everyone, Dudfin here and today I'm here to give the speculation on chapter 855 of One Piece. So these are just my pure thoughts and just my imagination so don't hate me for this and now let's get into this speculation. According to me, the title would be It's About Time and in cover there would be a couple of straw hats doing something. And now we get into the plot. I'm assigning the page numbers from where the plot begins, not including the title cover in them. So the first scene would be in Mirror World, it will be consisted in page from page 1 to 3. Nami, Jimbei, Carrot, Pedro and Chopper have already shared their information. Chopper and Carrot can't believe that what Nami said about pudding. Pedro says that he knew that was coming. They call out for mirrors and ask them where Sanji, Luffy and Brooke are. Mirrors tell them that they know about them. Nami and company gets to know that Brooke has been captured by young Big Mom herself. All of them are astonished that how did that happen. Pedro says that Brooke probably failed to get a copy of Poneglyphs. All of them are afraid that what will happen to Brooke. They get to know that Sanji is sleeping in his room. But the other mirrors are saying that he has kicked the guards and Bobbin in the face and has evaded the chetty along with the basket. Mirrors also tell them that Luffy has jumped out of the infirmary's window and his current status in, is unknown. Nami says she know where Luffy and Saji are headed to. But all of them decide to check on Brooke first as his situation is critical. And then we get to Big Mom's room which will be consisted in page 4 and 5. Big Mom and Pudding will have some more talks about their evil plan. They will also talk about the wedding guests and the cake is going to be present the wedding the next day. They are going to talk about more critical information. Brooke will listen to every information. Pudding will move out of the room after talking to Big Mom and will go to her room. Big Mom will then cuddle Brooke again and will say it's time for us to sleep. She will hang Brooke on the wall by a string and will tie his limbs. Brooke will feel humiliated. Prometheus will turn off his brightness and all of them including Big Mom and her homies will go to sleep. And then we get to the scene with Sanji who is outside the Chetu and this scene would be consisted in page 6 and 7. It's raining and Sanji is running to the place of promise. He, th he thinks back about the mess that he created in the Chetu. He thinks about when he kicked the guards and one of them said do you have any idea what will happen to you and your family once mama hears about this? And then we get back to present. He keeps on running and sniffing. He then thinks of her sister and her mother's effort in making her child normal again. And he again gets into the flashback. He thinks about Zeph, Straw Hats, his adventures, his family and the conversation he had with Reju. And Sanji says in the flashback itself, I guess you were right Reju, I have to do something about my crew. I have made up my mind and then he sniffs and then he said I have to I have to attend the marriage and give them a chance to escape at a cost of my own life and then Reju says don't be ridiculous and Sanji gets up off the couch and says something to Reju before he leaves the infirmary and then Reju just and he left Reju speechless he thinks about when he kicked Luffy and how he gained his morale back when Bobbin tried to eat the food that Luffy deserves and then he comes back to present. Sanji is screaming, I'm coming for you Luffy. And then we get to Big Mom's chamber, which is con consisted in pa page 8 to 10. Brooke uses his observation hockey and notices that everyone including the homies are asleep. He is unable to move due to Big Mom's subjugation. So he uses his soul power to move and look for a way out. He then notices something appearing from inside of the mirror. He goes towards it and is astonished to see Chopper coming out of the mirror. Chopper is scared and starts screaming that a ghost has appeared. Brooke explains that he is not a ghost but his crewmate. And then Chopper realizes that. And Brooke tells them that the whole scenario but isn't able to talk much because Prometheus turns his brightness to check out the reason for the scream. Chopper gets inside of the mirror world again. And then Prometheus was unable to see Brooke's soul as he was using an advanced version of il il infiltration. He can turn his soul invisible at will. Prometheus, after seeing no one in the room, goes back to sleep again. And then we get to Mirror World which will be consisted in page number 11. Chopper says, if, if what Brooke said is true, we gotta let Luffy know about this situation. Nami, are you sure that we should go outside the Chetu to find Luffy? Then Nami says, 
No doubt about it. I can navigate even if we are not on sea, you know. And then Chopper says, Eh, I forgot that you are the navigator. And then Jimbe says, Ha ha ha, you still can enjoy in a place like this? What a joyful crew you are. And then Chopper blushes again, <laughs> like he used to blush. And then Chopper says, It won't make me happy even if you call us joyful, Bagayaru. And then Carrot will say, Mirrors, oh mirrors, which is the mirror nearest to the outside of the castle. And then we get to the Windsmoke's room, which will be consisted in page 12 and 13. Windsmokes are seen laughing about Sanjay's future and talking about the wedding day. Reju enters the room. Judge asks her, how can she let a mere soldier do hurt her? She says, they have a gun whose bullets can pierce through iron and other metals. Then Judge asks, if that really is true, and then Reju agrees. Ichiji says that this is the least you can expect from a Yonko's army, and then everyone laughs. Reju says that it would be better if they all take some arms and take some cautious measure before entering the wedding ceremony. Yonji says that they already have done that and are already on that track. They all have been taking the safety measures from the get-go. And then Yonji goes to keep the army in standby so that they can be ordered at will. Then Niji says that the wedding is gonna be fun. And then Judge notices the frown on Reju's face. And then on the same page we will see a Ryukas in the Chatu due to Sanji kicking Bobbin. Soldiers will say, anyone found Sanji yet? And then the other soldier, no. And then the other soldier, keep searching, don't let Big Mom or Windsmokes know. This might lead to conflict between the two families. And then we get to page 14 to 17 and this scene will be Luffy and Sanji's reunion. It's still raining. Luffy is dying out of hunger but still keeps walking towards the place of promise. Luffy is screaming, food, food, Sanji. And then he is about to lose his consciousness and falls towards the ground. Suddenly, a pair of hands supports him and prevents him from falling onto the muddy street. And then someone says, I'm sorry for, for being late. You are hungry and I wasn't even able to fulfill my only role. And then that person cries. Luffy sees towards that person and then suddenly gets full of energy. Luffy, with tears, screams, Sanji! And then Sanji hugs Luffy and apologizes for every wrong thing he has done to him. Luffy smiles and says that he came back at least. Luffy's stomach growls. Sanji is still in tears and full of regret, hands the bento box to Luffy. Then Luffy takes it and eats it all in a moment. Then Luffy says, your food is the best Sanji. Luffy smiles. Sanji says that he still can't see how his captain is missing a smile at him. Sanji also apologizes for Luffy's mis missing teeth. And then Luffy says that it won't have any problem until he finds it as lock and cut and join the body parts at will. Sanji wipes his tear off and notices Luffy's teeth lying on the same spot where Sanji kicked him. He thinks of it again and starts crying as he picked up the teeth. They both see many people rushing towards them. Then Sanji says, Damn it! How did the guards find us already? Someone among the group says, Sanji Kun. And then Sanji is like, Huh? And then Luffy says, Nami, Joppa, Jimbe. And Jimbe and Chopper hugs Sanji and both of them are crying. Carrot Gar chooses him. And then Sanji cries too. Luffy, Pedro and Jimbe smiles. Nami says, Brook is held captive by Big Mom. He said that to leave this island we have to... And then Sanji interrupts. We can't leave as we are right now. We gotta wait until the wedding tomorrow. I will save Brook and will make an opening for the rest of you to escape. And then Luffy says, Don't tell me that you are planning to stay here as a bait. Then Nami says, Don't be stupid Sanji-kun. We aren't gonna leave you right here and right away. And not leaving you behind either. And Sanji says, huh? And then Nami says, Brooke has told us the whole scenario. When the tea party starts and you are about to lift up the veil, she is going to. And then Luffy and Sanji are shocked after, after hearing that cruelty. And then a little time skip of 10 or 15 minutes happen. And then Sanji gets up and says, this is what we have to do. We need them. Take care. And then Chopper says, where are you going? And then Sanji says, I'd be going in the wedding now. Try to find them and worry not. I will be fine. And then we get to the last page, page 18. Two people are having conversation on Denden Moshi. The person. Ha ha ha, is that true? Are we gonna do that? And then someone on the Denden Moshi. <laughs> yeah, we are. And then the same person smokes and says, Alright, I'd be getting ready for tomorrow's wedding too. 
and then chiffon is calling that person dear and then we get to see that person and that person would be capone gang beach and beach says it's a good thing that you implanted grudge inside of the straw hat's heart and then someone from dinner moshi isn't that what i was supposed to do <laughs> and then beach will say yes you were supposed to do that after all let's see how the thing goes in the tea party tomorrow and then someone from the dinner moshi says and then we get to see that dinner moshi and that dinner moshi is with three eyes with three eyes all right gotcha and then the connection disconnects this is what my thoughts are guys i hope you i hope you guys like this little theory or speculation of mine i i currently am waiting for the next chapter because it's just going to be amazing and i just can't wait for it spoilers would be coming out in 10 hours or so and i'm looking forward to it this was this for this video i hope you guys liked it leave a like if you enjoyed comment your thoughts in the comment section below share this video if you enjoyed it and i'm the twink and i'll see you in the next one